Measuring an angle. Used to measure angles, most protractors are transparent, semicircular, and share the same basic features. Outer and inner scales, both running from 0 to 180. A baseline. And a perpendicular line indicating the 90 degree mark. The point where these two straight lines meet is known as the center of the protractor. Now, in order to measure an angle, the center of the protractor should be placed on the vertex, the point where the two lines or rays meet. Next, the baseline should be aligned with either of the two lines of the angle in order to indicate zero degrees. From there, look where the angle's other line intersects the appropriate scale, in this case the inner one, and you will have found your angle, in this case 40 degrees. This method works well for acute angles. Right angles, obtuse angles, and straight angles. However, when you need to measure a reflex angle, that is, one that is greater than 180 degrees, you have three options. If you only have a 180 degree protractor, measure the exact part and add it to 180 to get your answer. A second option you could measure the missing section instead, this time using the outer scale, and deduct that from 360 to find the part you want. Thirdly and finally, if you have one, you could use a 360 degree protractor and just read off the angle on the appropriate scale. In summary, protractors are used to measure angles. The center of a protractor is where the baseline intersects the perpendicular 90 degree line. In order to measure acute, right, obtuse and straight angles, the center of the protractor should be placed on the vertex. The baseline should be aligned with either of the angle's two lines, and then the angle can be read off the appropriate scale. To measure reflex angles, you can use a 360 degree protractor, measure the exact part of the angle and add it to 180, or measure the missing part and subtract it from 360.